Ghanaian drug manufacturer who says he's found a potential cure for HIV AIDS, the COA-72, has today made a final push to develop a scientific basis for a cure. To help the push, the scientific research, the Center of Awareness and Global Mission today officially launched the COA Research Fund. According to Executive President of the Center, Professor Samola Duncan, the fund will enable his outfit to collaborate with credible research institutions in Ghana and across the world to conduct further research that can produce a cure for HIV and other chronic illnesses. We have found a potential cure. From the work that uh, uh, was done in some um, research institutions point to the direction that we have a potential cure for HIV. Uh, when I say potential cure, medications um, on market being used for the treatment of HIV target the viruses in the bloodstream and this force the viruses to go and hide in the cells and the tissues. Now we develop an injectable that is able to smooth the viruses from the hideout into the bloodstream to be targeted by um, other medications to take care of them. And this is what the World Organization has been looking for, the smokers, what can smoke them from the uh, latently infected cells. And this is what we have actually discovered. So, and uh, it's very, very expensive at this level. Because one, um, the machines that you use to produce the, even the injectable it needs to be more sophisticated than what we're using now. And uh, there are other things, other equipment that we need to, and when it comes to clinical trials, trying to at least have a target of a thousand uh, patients. And uh, we're going to do it at about five different geographical areas, bringing together experts from all over the world to help us achieve this goal. And that is why we want to, it is not something that we want to get to a point that somebody will come and criticize, oh, it is not true, oh, we, have, we should have done this, we have done that. We put everything together, so all researchers all over will be brought together. They will discuss a proper protocol to see how it can be done so that it can be internationally accepted by World Health Organization. So this is the direction, and this is um, a serious project that needs a lot of funding, that we cannot do that alone. Even for the research alone, we take over $100 million. So if, it's, if we should bring in machines and other equipment and other designs, it will be another $100 million. So about $200 million is actually towards this particular project, if you want to do it to the international standards. Uh, this is a wake-up call. If uh, we wanted to go solo, we wouldn't have launched this fund. This is an international project. So we are bringing everybody on board. At the end of the day, we say the world, the world has gotten cured for HIV. So we are appealing to all religious institutions all over the world, Ghana and everywhere, individuals, philanthropists, whoever is ready to support. The door is open for him or her to come in, especially religious institutions. Uh, this is the time uh, they have to show their love for people living with HIV.